hello everyone this is the uh, AutoCAD tutorial uh, number three um, section number three um, if you're coming to Ciritech for workshop and I would like to show you this um, files which is they are very important files to for our uh, uh, workshops here if you look at it this is uh, for our Ciritech logo and this is to layer system if I double click on this you will see how the what type of layers we have here and what uh, what colors they are referred to and how they print so I highly recommend that you guys use this layers and also these colors for the layers and also uh, I would like to tell you that this is a this is a CDB file which you use and and this is the st same um, the PDF and this is the CAD uh, Excel file for that and this is our title blocks so you can see that uh, we have a city tech title blocks and please use this whenever you open a new drawings if you're gonna start new drawing please use this to open and re do a file save as St today I'm gonna explain this uh, file of city tech standard which is very important when you um, when you use this when you open the Citrix standards, you will see that there's a uh, each box, each box which is the same thing repeated in different scales, different sizes. So LTS stands for line type scales. So that's how you could see this dash lines. Uh, sometimes you will not able to see that. For example, if I put LTS enter and 16 enter you will see that this now you get you can see the dash line over here you can see the dash line this is a line type scale to see the dash line in model space remember guys in model space not in layout space and a standard 64 it is 330 seconds uh, 3 over 16 time 12 will give you 64 okay and that is this, this equal to this, uh, 1 foot equal uh, 3 316 equal to 1 uh, 1 foot here same thing Four, 4 times 12 give you 48 and line type scale is 40, 12 and uh, here uh, quarter inch equal to foot so for our grid purpose for our design so I'm simply going to copy from here if it's quarter so since we're going to use a 1 8 inch uh, equal to foot we're going to print the whole drawing into 1 8 so I'm going to use this uh, toolbar over here so you can see that that uh, text dim style everything uh, my previous uh, tutorial I have shown you how to set up this but in here I have everything given to you so you can simply copy it and paste it into your drawing so what I would like to do now is uh, open a new drawings which is here we, uh, we started last uh, section but we didn't draw, draw anything so this is what we're going to draw today we're going to draw the grid system for the Yale Art Gala, um, British Art uh, Center so if I go and also I would like to take a few seconds to explain you the CTB file the way the printing system work CTB file works guys is that you know these colors please only when you use make any new layers please only use from these colors over here which is the color 1 through color 9 and so as you can see the color one is red and this is 0 0.05 and as this goes up it increases I have set it up so that you this like you have a nine different pins so you can have them and so that's all you you need to know for this please also refer to the Excel sheet which I will, will give you here see here in the Excel sheet you have layouts and the uh, drawings so please review this if you're in my class I have explained to you but on my other video I will explain I will go through this in, in detail so this is the layers and this is how we name the layers first is a field of construct uh, uh, the discipline all right then the major group then the minor group for example is a wall so architecture a for architecture wall then wall interior wall exterior goes like that so you can see that how I named the a for architecture and of for dimension and the uh, dimension uh, dimension tax the legend so then I have separate them over here at the same time now if you look at this number remember on the plot style I have given you different different types of number when it prints this is how it prints different types 
all right so please when you get times just go through this excel sheet is very important that you go through them so now what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and draw this draw this floor plan so this is a yearly uh, British art gallery the second floor I believe so now in order for to draw this we either we could um, uh, I won't say trace um, we could copy this by drawing it or, um, or we could put bring this image into AutoCAD and we could draw this so if you look at this pl floor plan we have simplified just break it down into very simple first we're going to draw the grid see that the column grids and then we're going to put the columns and we're going to put the column bubbles over here and numbers so it's very easy if you have my standard to follow this in another lesson I will teach you how to put the create a dim style text and everything you you'll, go, you'll please look for another bit I'll, I'll tell you when that uh, I post them in so these columns are 20 by 20 okay this column 20 by 20 and this car between the column grid is 20 feet these columns are 20 inches by 20 inches okay so and also please go through the uh, look at the dimensions which is they have given us but in this case over here in the second floor if you if, if you if you ask your professor he will give you another uh, template uh, or image which explain everything here for example the first floor concrete column is 18 inch by 18 inches okay and um, a second floor is 12 inch by 12 inch so when I say 18 inches uh, sorry uh, I didn't mean to say 20 inches is uh, 18 inches now the second floor it's uh, 12 inches and third floor 12 and the fourth, fourth floor also 12 inches please when the professor give you something look at it study it digest it so it's very important that you look at it and also the columns this is a 20 by 20 20 by 20 and the basement is uh, 40 by 40 all right guys so let's go ahead and start to draw this the way I do, do this with the construction lines okay let's first I'm going to go and create some layers in order for to create layers well, I'm going to type in LA enter LA enter when you type in LA enter you'll get a uh, um, dialog box like this okay guys you'll get dialog box like this in this dialog box what you do is that you could go ahead and create new layers reason is very important that you create new layers to control your for grid columns everything must be in a different different um, different different um, layer system so if you look here it's the top six icon five icons here this is to make the layer current this is to delete this is to make new or alt n the keyboard shortcut also um, it'll give you the new layer so I'm going to click here first layer I'm going to create is underscore n p l t everything must be kept n p l t this layer which will not print so once I click it I, this will, I, I'm going to draw everything on this layer and is if that layer will not print okay and you could I'm going to set that to color num number 30 30 see that you could type the number in here to color 30 and now second I'm going to create new layer see that when I create new layer again it's copy what I created before so see that since this is not print is this also came not print so I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to put this to color red okay and I'm going to call this a grid for structure grid okay and then I'm going to change the line type see that it says continuous I'm going to change this to hidden to so you know when I click in uh, when I click the c continuous it's only giving me one type now so I'm going to load new types so when I load new types it'll give me this dialog box I'm going to scroll down I'm going to go down and look for hidden to so uh, for for the um, see this is very important that we look at our excel sheet in the excel sheet it says for the 
for a structure sorry this, this is not s it should be a all of this okay guys and it should be central to it's not hidden so it's, it should be central to so i'm going to look for central center to okay click that okay and that's my grid okay and I'm, I'm going to create another one it's called a c o l that's for column and this a is c o l m see my m doesn't work guys so please forgive me okay uh, so the the red I'm going to change this to magenta because magenta is my thickest color. So since we are cutting through the columns, my columns should be darkest. So I'm going to put that in magenta. Now I'm going to put that in continuous. And that's it. Again, I'm going to create another one. This time A dash C O L underscore. It's going to be hatch. Okay, guys. Because that's my, I'm going to hatch the columns. So that's I'm gonna you use the red one for that. That's, that could be continuous, okay. So I'm gonna put this to an NP and uh, not uh, NPLT layers, not print layer. Set current. See that now it's become green. Then I'm gonna close this. So now whatever I draw is gonna draw on that layer. So let's start with. Let's examine the Im image for a second. So. If I look at this image over here, I have one, two, three, four, all together eleven columns. That mean I have eleven columns. That mean I have ten bays. Here I have uh, up to G, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six bays, which is the uh, seven columns. So if it's twenty guys, twenty feet apart, that mean this going to be two hundred feet, and this going to be hundred and twenty feet. Okay, so 20, 20, 20, 20, so if you add them up, okay. So I'm going to make a rectangle from this corner to this corner, which is 120 by 120. Listen carefully. When I say 120, I'm not saying 120 by 200. I'm saying 200 by 120 because in AutoCAD, the X comes first. Okay, guys, in AutoCAD, the X come first, then the Y. All right. So you, when you when you say I'm going to put 200, okay, comma, 120. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. So first thing I'm going to tell you guys to draw a rectangle. It's going to be R E C enter. See that when you do R E C enter, enter. Please look what AutoCAD is asking you. It's very important that you you look at this bottom piece over here, which is now AutoCAD is telling you. Give me the first corner point, okay? So what I'm going to do? I'm going to click zero comma zero comma zero. Now you may wonder why I'm starting with zero comma zero comma zero, but if you look at this as a graph, if I go this side, that's everything positive. If I come directly this side, everything's negative because that's the x and y. And here is going to be positive, negative. Here is going to be negative, positive. All right, guys. Sorry, this side is going to be positive, negative. This is going to be negative, positive because of the x, because x come first. Okay. So now it's now is asking for the other corner point, which is the second. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to press at. Please watch this over here. I'm I'm pressing at it's like at gmail.com so at 200 feet comma 120 feet so if you look here I cannot zoom in and out so that's my rectangle I cannot see anything at all I cannot zoom in and out but if you double click your mouse like the, if you double click your wheel the wheel double click is to zoom all or you could type on Z enter a enter to zoom all Z enter a enter It'll zoom everything okay guys please um, keep in mind that we I use every most of the shortcuts by keyboard okay so now this is my whole grid 
which which you could see it here that's my whole grid that's my uh, square from here to here so now I'm going to divide all of this one by one one by one okay so I'm going to minimize this again so I could take this guy here okay and I'm going to leave the way it is. I'm gonna right now I'm going to use construction lines construction line to develop my whole entire grid so I'm going to type X L enter Excel enter is for construction line so when you type in Excel enter now it's asking for horizontal vertical angle bisector and offsets okay guys so in this case what I'm gonna do so in this case what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, type in V for vertical okay and then I'm type zero comma zero comma zero sorry zero comma zero comma zero so that it gave me my first point over there then I could press escape okay see you guys now again I'm gonna do uh, Excel enter this time I'm gonna do H for horizontal enter now type in zero comma zero comma zero enter okay see that now is given me line over here and line over here but if you look at it if you type in Z a Z enter a enter it's only zoom up to this um, red tank it doesn't goes all the way because this line is endless is uh, is goes all the way infinity lines so more you zoom in it'll, it'll zoom in you know you keep you, you keep seeing the lines so now what I'm going to do I'm going to array this line across th this uh, rectangle array this line across ab up and down over here okay so that I could give the spacing or I could do I could copy this line CO for copy CO for copy select the line enter I can copy this uh, one by one all the way up to here or I could copy this one by one all the way up to here or I could do array okay so what I, this one first I'm going to show you how to copy it then I'm going to show you how to do the array so let's start with the CO for copy select the object see that's what I select the object now from where you want to copy so uh, let's pick this point oh, see that when I go my mouse the, when I go to the corner that become the end point is give you that square that is because of this icon over here O snap when I click on the O snap see that right click it'll give me the end points here right click guys it's very important that you right click now I could uh, turn on and off wherever I want to select so midpoint center these are very important that I you keep them on all the time okay so now what I'm going to do select the object enter now select, uh, click on this end point now if you look here now if I press F8 on my keyboard I can move around you see that if, again if I press F8 I go up and down see that so now I'm going to keep my mouse to my right side and press 20 feet enter you see that I'm just entering the numbers 40 feet enter see that then 60 feet enter 80 feet enter you guys see that then 100 feet enter it'll copying for me one by one but if I take my mouse this side it'll start the copying that direction okay guys so this is how you copy it so I'm gonna erase all of this so yes I can copy this and uh, I can finish everything in one shot as well again I can copy this all of this from here to here it's boom it's done okay or what I could do I could array this I think it seems like uh, doing array command is much easier in AutoCAD so I'm going to AR for array okay guys select the object enter okay it's very important that you read this at the bottom you written uh, your uh, rectangle array polar path or path so this time I'm going to click on R for rectangle okay see that when you when I do this give me like number of uh, lots of see that lots of lines here lots of line I don't want that say number of items from the base point is asking how many uh, how the number of items so how many numbers we want we want 11 see that that's 11 see that now it's asking the spacing 20 feet see that see 
See, I made some wrong. Can s the reason is that, guys, let's measure di to measurement from here to here. I put it one foot nine. No, that's wrong. Let's do it again. Control Z will undo everything, guys. Control Z, undo it. Control C will copy. Control V will paste. Okay. So now I'm, what I'm going to do, I will go ahead and copy this. Uh, sorry, uh, AR for ray. But when you do a ray in 2015, that's much easier. And uh, so you could do in 2015 as well. So R for rectangle. So now it's asking for the the co the number of item guys. Okay, we have eleven items. Okay, and eleven item. If I stretch like this, it's automatically give me the spacing. See that I put eleven, and then I click here, and that's it. So if I measure this over here, DIL, that's give me 20 feet. So that's something wrong here again. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we, we, we want a 10 altogether. See the number? See this good thing that I'm making is this mistake. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10. It's, it's not 11. Alright. So I'm, I'm again control Z for undo. Okay, A R enter for ray. Click this icon. Click the um, 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 object. Select the object. Enter. Now it's uh, R for rectilinear. Okay. Now we're going to say 11. No, see that? 10. Enter. Now I'm going to bring my mouse all the way down here and click here. Or if you want, if you know the spacing, which is 20, we can put 20. In this case, I'm just going to click here. Okay. Now, if you click here, it's like a block. It's like one one whole uh, object. And also, if you look up here, it's very interesting now. Now it's giving me this. This is what I was expecting before. So now, if you look at here, it'll give you row, um, row, uh, one row, uh, 11 uh, pieces, 20 feet apart, 200 feet okay so again let's do AR for array select this object enter okay guys and now R for rectilinear again we can go up and down in this case we want a 5 count how number of items is 5 okay AR for ray, select the object, enter, rectilinear, okay, count is six. I'm clicking all the way up to this rectangle. So now we have all this 20 by 20. See that we don't even have to copy this. Okay, instead of you just ray, you click here and just click up here. That should be done. But now, if you take this, okay, guys. Now I want to take this, this two grid. Click on it. Right click. I want to send this to back. If you right click and you could draw order, you can send. Oh, in this case, we'll click here, send to back. Okay. In this case, now I can see my rectangle. I want to offset this rectangle eight feet. So the way you do you do offset or enter. See, I was asking for the distance, eight feet. Enter. Now select, click on the rectangle. So when you highlight the click, if you go outside, you 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 could put a rectangle outside. You could, or if you click inside, you could put the rectangle inside. So in my case, I want to click the outside, so I could put my rectangle outside, offset outside eight feet. Then I'm going to select this. I'm going to I'm going to I will keep that. That's going to uh, that's going to be useful for me 
when I draw the um, you know what I'm going to do like this so I'm going to trim this I want to trim all of this on both side from here so the way I could trim this is TR enter for trim select the rectangle that's my cutting object so select it or click press enter now I'm going to trim watch this I cannot trim I'm tr I want to trim this but I cannot trim the reason is that this is is a block so we have to export so press escape escape so every time you see a cancel in this command bar that means I have press escaped okay let me, let me raise this a bit up so you can see this okay so now I'm going to select this uh, um, grid press X enter for explore so now it's become individual lines okay now I could TR for trim enter select the object enter and then I could delete one by one Let's click and delete click and delete okay now I could select this um, rectangle and I could delete that if you want to delete a rectangle click the rectangle E enter or you could simply press the delete button on your keyboard so now I have created my grid I'm sorry it took me 26 minutes but uh, I had to go slowly try to in order to I, I wanted to make those mistakes so that you could see that sometimes we make mistake without knowing it. alright so I could select all of this line from NPLT and I, I could put this to a grid see that the way I'm changing it I'm selecting it going to this arrow and changing it to a grid but if I put this a grid see that its dash line is so light do you see that the reason is that we we are drawing this to 96 so our LTS line type scale should be 96 so now you will see that that's dash lines but guys when you print this in layout space when you print this in layout space your LTS should be 1 see that now you don't see it LTS supposed to be 1 now you see it here but when you go to model space you will not see it again you have to type LTS 96 alright so let's save this it's a good time to save control S will save or you go to this icon here save usually what I do the way I name this okay guys I'll just put my name first okay underscore this is assignment number two